Fuck off! I'm sleeping here. That's entirely your fault. What's going on, Ron? They were here for you. Here for you. Who was here? Them bikers. After you killed Johnny K. And they damage my stuff, huh? They smash up my home, damage my soul. This, 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 this statue here of impotent rage, this fucking meant more to me than Johnny K meant to anyone, and they smashed it. Those pathetic midlife crisis, hog-riding, shaven-headed, fruity-leather, chapped-wearing fucking assholes. They're assholes, Trevor. They are. They're chapped-wearing assholes. Oh, wait, 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 you little shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, Michael fucking Townley, right? Bitch wife, two kids, 45. Find them. Los Santos is a big, big place, Trevor. There's lots of people. You are fucking useless. Huh? Find out who did that fucking robbery, all right? And if Michael Townley lives there, or anyone matching his description, I'm gonna kill you and your fucking cousin. Am I being clear now? Yes, Trevor. Thank you, Wayne. Now smile. Yeah, uh -huh. all right? That's better. Run along. Uh -huh. Now, Ron, shall we go? I cannot believe that they fucking destroyed my statue of impotent rage. The cheek, huh? The fucking cheek of it. I gotta make a stop at ammunition. You're meeting me at the Lost MC's airfield. Come in! Come in! 
I'll come in your ear when I get a hold of you. Oh, what are you buying at the gun shop? I'm not buying anything. I need a sniper rifle with a high power scope. Melvin! How you feel about brand synergy, huh? TP Industries. Ammunition. That sniper on your wall looks like it'll do the job. She'll do nicely. Now I need a scope and a suppressor. It'll be quiet as a mouse. Get that look off your face. I know you sold Cletus' gun and he ain't got three brain cells. Run! Run, I got the gun. Meet me at the water tower just north of the airfield. Roger that, Trevor! But you gotta look out, cause there's bikers all over this airstrip! Of course there are! Two planes are touching down at the field on a weapons run! We're gonna wait till the right time and appropriate them! We are? Yes, we are! Where are you, man? I'm waiting at the water tower! I'm up here. I don't see the hardware. But I do see a hell of a lot of bikers. Hardware's not here yet! I'm coming up. We gotta wait till you can slip in there unnoticed. Should give you the time to plan a route to the gas tank you're rigging up to blow. The time is right. Go on, my son. Whenever you get a doubt in your mind, I want you to remember that I'm watching you through the scope of a high-powered rifle. Right, Trevor. Right, right. Got it! Now, relax! The ATV can only take you so far. Park it and don't let them spot you. Can you see me, Trevor? Can you see me? You wouldn't believe this, Ron. One of these assholes is having a seizure or something. That's me! That's me! Don't shoot! Well, get a move on! I'm moving! Just keep me covered, okay? Steps under the control tower. There, good kill, Trevor. You're walking like you shot yourself. Move. Shit, I hear an engine. They're gonna see that guy you shot. You can relax because lights are out already. Good. Well, uh. Don't shoot the guy in the van until he stops and gets out, okay? Oh, fire. We gotta see what he's up to. Take him out before- 
before he blabs! He's gotta go! This ain't a joke! He's gotta go! So long, sailor! Oh no! Bottom of the tower! Another guy's on his way! He's down there! Amongst the bodies! Clean shot, Trev! There's another guy at the top of the tower! He's probably looking for his buddy! Woo! Down he goes! Get your sights back on me, Trev! I'm scared! You're in my crosshairs again! There's no one left to kill, so get over to that gas tank and plant the bomb! I can't! There's someone coming out of that building! I can hear him at that far door! There's another guy! Coming out of the building! Good kill, Trevor! I'm not fixing it! Don't let him sneak up on me, okay? And, whatever you do, don't hit the tank! Please, man! Someone's coming! He's gonna get me before I finish! A bolt from the blue! Can you hear that? Chopper! Incoming! Always hated that chopper! Just fucking drive! You're bikers! It's looking for us! <laughs>
feel safe. So, uh, who might the spire be? There's only two places this kind of hardware is gonna go. And they are? Up north to our Canadian cousins, where the lost were likely to be sending them. Or? Or their other neighbors, those in the south, our Mexican brethren. I assume you got all kinds of connections in Canada. Why would you make an assumption like that? It's obvious. Why is it obvious? Spell it out for me before I order you to fly that plane into a mountain. Um, uh, but because of where you used to operate, weren't you pulling scores in North Yankton and running cargo over the border? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure I was. Better be. Drop your load. Fort Sankudo coming up. If we fly low, we ain't gonna show up on military radar. Successfully delivered, Ron. Now remember, if you beat me to the airstrip, I'll butcher your carcass and wrap you in cheesecloth. You wouldn't really do that to me, would you? Beat me and you'll see. Uh, I ain't a trained Air Force pilot like you. I can just about get where I'm going, but I don't got much choice over whether it's fast or slow. And get better at it, or fly through a barn. Would a barn slow me down? Yeah, it might do. Or it might kill you instead. I'm just gonna fly normal, and I'll rely on you getting there quicker. You're braver than I thought. Stay low over those wetlands, boss. So the guns are going to Mexico? Mexico, yeah. Guy in the boat is Oscar Guzman. He's in with the cartels. If there's a market, this could be a way to expand the business. Like I hadn't thought of that? We might be able to buy into Oscar's thing, but leave that to me, Ron. I'm sorry to ask this, but does your contact pay well for this kind of shipment? Because I've got those lawyer fees for the divorce and my settlement costs. <laughs> oh, he pays. Better than any in this sorry country. <laughs> That's good to hear, man. We'll talk about the exact split when we're grounded, okay? All right, T. I think that was adequate restitution for my impotent rage statue. That was a mighty fine statue, Trev. That was a mighty fine piece of plastic shit. But there is no price for emotional attachment. I mean, you might forego your cut to uh, alleviate my heartache. I might? Yeah, I mean, I will. Good idea. We don't have time to dwell on that now. 
Because we got more runs, Ron. If there is one thing that they need south of that big fence, it is guns. <laughs> Trevor Phillips Industries. Technical expertise, hmm? managerial innovations, unstoppable. Oh, that's right. Now go. I need to meditate. Or masturbate. Or both. You sure as shit are one dumb, ignorant, white trash hillbilly, Wallace. <laughs> You're damn right! <laughs> Chang, spreadsheet. Let's head outside and talk terms. La 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 la. Quite in. Gentlemen, I think I have proved that my organization can handle weight. And I think I have proved that my organization is a reliable supplier. In short, it's you and me. Now give me some of that goddamn X. I'm afraid we want to go down a different path. What? We want to explore other opportunities. Shut the fuck up!
Our boss, Mr. Chang's father, wants something a little larger. We want to move drugs, perhaps guns. This is my life's work. I mean, since I was a little kid, I, I dreamt big. You know, I've always wanted to be an international drug dealer and, and a weapons trader. All right, so I'm begging you. Let's make this happen. I'm very sorry. You're sorry? You're fucking sorry? I just spilled my fucking guts out to you, and you say to me you're sorry. Who are you working with? Hmm? Who? I'm not at liberty to say. Oh, no, no, no. You're at fucking liberty. In fact, I'd say you are obliged. <laughs> who? Fucking who? 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 <laughs> the O'Neill brothers. The O'Neill brothers, huh? Yeah. You shitting me? No. Because those fucking O'Neill brothers, I hear a little birdie telling me that they have a bit of a problem, since one of them's gonna have to be surgically removed from the skull of the other. Fuck you guys and fuck them! Hold on, A small patch to call my own on this godforsaken earth! <laughs> you assholes! Mm, so close, I could taste it. For fuck's sakes. Elwood O'Neill! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Trevor, it's business! That wide-eyed idiot was mine! It's business, fella! You wanna discuss it? We're at the farm! Ernie, Earl, Walton, Wynn, Dale, Doyle, Daryl, Dan, all of us! Start writing those names on tombstones! Cause I'm on the way to your lab and we're gonna see how much of a family meth business you got when I'm done! Mm. All of you are going to die! I just spoke to that maniac, Trevor. He's coming. Get down to the meth lab to protect it. Right. I hope he don't get through these idiots, but we know they're idiots. Come on, let's go see them Chinese fellas. Oh, how many brothers you got, you inbred freaks? I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'll kill the...
me to kill you! You want to see competition in the marketplace? We're armed in here! Stay outside! Get your own fucking business! It's over! Like a larger operation than me. Look out! Blood Munger! You assholes! You piece of shit! Murder you pricks! It's fucking Tear is here to kill you! It's happening! Get out of here! Are you crazy? Get that motherfucker out the house! Take over time! You motherfucker! You gonna die in this cookhouse! Size. Fuck, Trevor Phillips, man! Shit! He's in the lab! Don't come any closer, all right? Well, look at this! Come on, come on. I'm gonna burn it to the ground. Smell that! You disrespectful pricks!
Get back here! You're not even hidden! Have you got it? I've been trying, Trevor. I've been trying. Come on over here, all right? I ain't gonna hit you. I've been trying. I know, I know. I thought you said you weren't gonna hit me. I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley. There's two Michael Townleys living in L.S. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked the teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe, but she threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. Shut then up I before I molest you, all right? Now, is there anything else? I, I look through the phone directory. I did find a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda. Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, uh, come here. Uh, Woo! Uh, uh, don't you ever not tell me things I want to know! Sorry, Trevor. Run, you little bastard! Get out here! We're going to Los Santos. Are we? Not you, me and Wade. What about me? You're CEO of Trevor Phillips Enterprises. Find us some business so that we can make some money and tidy my shit up. Let's go, Wade, come on. I'm driving. You can jerk me off if I get bored. I'm joking. You can suck me off. Are we gonna stop for ice cream? Um, so, so we're heading to Los Santos then? Soon. I gotta make a stop. Oh, what's the stop? Ice cream? We need some wheels. Road trip? We taking this one? Get in! Where are your people at in Los Santos? It's just my cousin there, Floyd. He's bumped in with his girlfriend someplace called Vespucci Beach. So, uh, what's your stop? Family's important, Wade. Not as important as the man that's employed you, mentored you, and fed you amphetamines this last year, but it's important. We gotta pay this cousin a visit. I ain't seen him in a while, Trevor. All the more reason to drop by. Okay, uh... The guy might be nice, but where are we stopping on the way? Cause, you know, I'm getting kind of wet over here. For fuck's sakes! Another chapter of a lost that descended on this fine town. Looking to mourn, maybe revenge their dead. I was thinking me and you could pay our respects. Trevor, I, I, I don't think we'd be welcome there. I mean... What do you want to...
Time to hit the road, Wadey. Los Santos, here we come. That go okay? I heard about the banging and screaming, but then not knocking that time. Yeah, you went good, Wade. We don't have to think about the loss no more. Let's go find my old buddy. This Michael Townley guy must have dished you off real bad for you to want to find him so much. He didn't piss me off. The guys that killed him, the federal government, they pissed me off. But if he's dead, who's this? Now you're starting to grasp the pertinent questions. Who is this guy using my dead friend's tired ass movie quotes with my dead friend's alias and my dead friend's family? In a house that must have been paid for with my dead friend's stashed millions? Wow, that's a real mind fuck. Yeah, I'll show you a fucking mind fuck. I'm gonna stick my boy in your eye. It's gonna come out of your ear, huh? I, I, I didn't mean anything by that, T. Trevor, lube up your eye hole, fucker, because I'm gonna fuck your tiny mind, huh? I am about ready to turn you into roadkill. Uh, please, don't turn me into anything. I just want to be away. Are we nearly there yet? No, Wade. Are we nearly, nearly there? You keep this up, you're not gonna get there at all. Can you tell me a story? No, Wade. Let's play a game, then. You know animal, mineral, or vegetable? I'll go first. I'm nanotechnology. Uh, you're what? Ooh, damn it. I gave it away. I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to say what I am. I'll start again. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Hey, 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 how about this? I'll tell you a story, if you promise never to speak again. I like stories. Of course you do. This story's about a boy called Tr... Tr... Uh, Trisha. Is Trisha a boy's name? It doesn't matter. Sounds weird. He was weird. He was the smartest, toughest, weirdest kid in Canada. Well, in the Canadian border region of America. Okay. Right there. Los Santos. The end of the fucking Earth. This is the place! I seen it on the holiday card. So, this is Bo Santos. I guess it is. I always wanted to come here. But you got stuck in the desert. It's still San Andreas. Best part of the state. So, Michael, this is where dead men come back to life. It's been nearly ten years, but you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? You motherfucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck! I thought we were going to my cousin. Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? Floyd over in Vespucci Beach. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? Right, 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 right. So, this kid, he could fly planes. So, he signed up for the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe, just maybe, drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable and grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him to a deep pit of doubt despair. And just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? Mike. Mich Michelle. A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. 
He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes he'd go into town and rob the shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people. And little Trisha was good at it. And they live happily ever after? For a while. For a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club. And they fell in lust. And he bought her a pair of fake troll tits. Even bigger than his real troll tits. So she could make more money stripping. Maybe a little on the side without call work. But you didn't hear that from me. Wow. And then she pushed out a pair of little trolls. And the big bad troll under the bridge went soft. Oh, oh, we're near Floyd Cap. I've seen it on iPhone maps. I'll give you directions. Keep it straight now. This one go right. It's straight here. This is the place, I think it is at least. Floyd! Floyd! Come up here, Trevor! Floyd, it's me, Wade! Who? Me, Wade, your cousin! Who? Your cousin! Fuck! He's come to visit you, you rude fuck! Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink! Oh, you, Wade! <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere here! He's gonna smoke meth here! Give me a fucking lighter! You can't smoke here! Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was called in Evelyn's bed. A guy was never approved. You gotta go. Both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait. Uh... I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go too. All right. Okay. Fuck. There you are, you little shit. Are you looking for this? No. Ah, 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 ah. Very funny. You know, you're a real asshole. What did you just fucking say to me? Stop it! You two, you're ruining my fucking yoga! Somebody say yoga? <gasps> Trevor? Michael. Hey. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. Hmm. Yeah, I bet it is. Of course, I'm not the one that's been 
resurrected. Ain't this grand, huh? Yeah, well, I got in a bit of an awkward situation. Mm, you're telling me, bro. Yeah. One of those fake your own deaths to your best buddy, and then run off with the dough, and then live in a big mansion. Awkward situations. It's one way of looking at it. Yeah, do you have any other ways of looking at it? Because I am all out. But it was a long time ago, man. I've been in witness protection. I still am. That's great. That's great. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where are my manners, right? <laughs> Amanda, it is good to see you. Oh, I missed you. You used to be fatter. <laughs> nice new tits, by the way. Jimmy, you, you used to be thinner. But, yeah, uh, I can't blame you. Who are you? I must stay. I'm Fabian. <sighs> good lord. Where's Tracy? Where's your sister, Jim? Um, sh she's, um, she's, uh, she's trying out for TV. She's what? Yeah, she's auditioning for fame or shame. Fame or shame? The fuck are you talking about? You know, it's that talent slash skills show. She loves it, you guys know that. What's her talent? Dancing. Oh, Christ, she's a horrible dancer. Michael! Oh, she might disagree with you on that. Jesus Christ, what, now? Now? Where? Um, the Maze Bank Arena. Oh, little Tracy being humiliated. Let's go, we go get her. We? Yeah, we, what, are you gonna stand here and argue while your daughter becomes a national laughing stock? Huh? You're worse than I thought. Now let's go, come on! All right. So, Mike, what were you doing? I was making myself a juice. Broccoli, raw kale, fish oil. This recipe I got is packed with nutrients, fibers, vitamins, and it don't taste bad. I'll send you the recipe. Anyway, get this. I'm making it. The blender slips, juice goes everywhere. I'm about to clean it up when I find this bag of grass. Big fucking bag, Jimmy's, right? Okay, just that moment, Amanda comes in. Sees me there. I didn't ask for a blow by blow of how you lost your last ounce of masculine pride. I wanted to know what you've been doing for a decade. Easy tea. Don't tea me. Hey, if anyone needs kale, my friend. I'm beyond kale, okay? It's too late for kale and its magical powers to have any effect on me. Fine. Or yoga, or talk therapy. I'm a crank, cannibalism, an incest kind of guy. Oh, don't worry, T. They'd skip that talk and go straight to shock treatment with your ass. You two chilled out to say my name, you fat slob. You two relaxed and you laid back Los Santos embarrassment, huh? Is one letter all you can bring yourself to wrap your slothful lips around? Whoa, dude, you do not let the fuck up. I got ten years worth of venting to do. The let up, my friend, is a long way off. He's a long way off. Fine, fine. Do what the fuck you want. What? Well, I, I want to save your daughter from making an ass of herself. Oh, really, man? Really? What is it? Money or a fight? What? What do you come here looking for? Come on, come on, come on. You can't park there! Production vehicles only! <laughs> Come on, Sir, you dipshit. You ah, that host, man, he's like any closeted TV presenter. Bitter as fucking vinegar. Huh? Where the fuck are they? Hello, sir. May I please have your name? Where the fuck is Tracy Townley, huh? Tracy fucking DeSanta! Fuck, screw that! Where the fuck's Laszlo? All right. Yeah. That was really. All right. 
It's the auditions, Fame or Shame, season 14, right here in Vinewood, San Andreas. Coming up next, it's Tracy DeSanta. Judges, Tracy DeSanta. Yes. <laughs> Hi. All right. Tracy's a dancer, but she also likes acting, modeling, and working with children. That's, that's beautiful. You're so original, like oh. a, a basket full of puppies or a <laughs> rainbow or a pile of puke. Oh. Who are these clowns? That's my dad and... Trevor? Two dads. Uh, <laughs> Great. Wow. Very San Andreas. What are you guys doing here? Yeah, what are you uh, doing here? Okay, I'm back. Relax, chill. Make yourself at home. He's got a little show to do here. Okay. Three, two, one. All right, it's fame or shame for Tracy. Security! Security! What'd you fucking Hold say? Come on, big guy! Come on! No! 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 Come here, you little shit! No! Tracy, go home! I just want to talk to you. They took our ride, we take their truck. There! We take the truck! I got a deposit on that truck! Go home right now, Tracy! Hey, you little prick! Get in the truck, Michael! Hey! Hey! Not my rig! Let's get that prick! He went left! How can you sit there and watch your daughter get treated like that? Hey, you raise a daughter in this town, you get used to stunts. It's poor parenting. Now, thanks for the fucking feedback. It means a lot coming from you. No one's getting in the way of the big rig. We'll flatten this dickhead. Fucking Laszlo. I knew he was an asshole. Just push him off the fucking road. It's only a battery car. Come on. This ain't exactly a racer. Blind piece of shit! We gotta go to the left! Look at him! He's on the train tracks! We can have a little fun with him, but let's not try to kill this brick, alright? When we crush his little toy car, who knows what'll happen to him? He took a left! I knew this city would be full of douchebags. Can we speed it up a little, huh? Maybe by throwing your fat carcass over the side. Head right up here. He took a right. Can't get enough of the celebrities, can you? Ten fucking minutes in LS. Shut up! That cocksucker might be famous, but oh. We'll get him! Well, we're sure taking our time about it. 
Ah, ah, it's going down into the L.S. River. I can see that. I hate that closeted man whore on the TV. I hate him on the radio. I hate him even more in person. He was never funny. The little shit's all out of juice. Oh, hey, 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 guys. You run out of batteries, huh? I didn't mean anything by it, all right? Oh, yeah? Well, that little girl sat on my lap when she was two years old, and I swore to God that I would rip the fucking skin off anyone who fucking wronged her. Look, I'm just a dumb A-list celebrity trying to entertain America, okay? I got a lot of stuff going on right now, dude, besides you trying to kill me. Now I got multiple sexual harassment lawsuits, plus... I'm an addict, all right? And I've relapsed. I can't stop jacking, dude. I jack it in traffic. What's your talent, huh? Uh, I mean, aside from love and sex. Dude, haven't you seen my show? It's not live, it's not funny. That's my genius, I got no fucking talent. You clearly ain't being humble, T. Uh, you proved your point. Uh, this is your daughter. You should be wanting to rip the fucking ponytail off the back of this guy's head. And you! Uh, Pants off. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. There you go. Yeah. All right. What are you doing now? I want you to dance sexy, celebrity. Mm -hmm. I mean, I need music or... Are you trying to fucking annoy me, huh? I'll dance. Good. <laughs> what the fuck is that? All right. All right, now drop it like it's hot, all right? I want to see you get nice and low. Come on. Lower. Oh, lower. No. Come on. Oh. Oh. Please don't kill me, okay? Uh -huh. I'm supposed to be on a magazine cover next week. All right, all right. Please come on, go. get no. off. Take off. Go, now, before I change my mind. Uh, I got it all on my camera, you fucking pussy. The world's gonna see your shit. <laughs> I'm going home. How the fuck did you do it without me for nine years, huh? <laughs> oh, shit. Dave. We need to talk. I was about to tell you the same thing. Okay. Meet me at Galileo Observatory as soon as you can get there. Okay. <laughs>